but um, I had to come back and find the hat. All I could find was MJ's hat. It's cold as hell out here. A little early. I'll show you guys the different vendors and um, things that are here, but it's really cute in here. I've really been so reckless since we've come back from Jamaica, and that was a month ago, y'all. really talking about corporate and productivity and just how we're advancing our careers how we're thinking about our careers as black women in corporate america this car is a mess what's up y'all good morning happy to wednesday or whenever you're watching this video today is wednesday april 19th and it's about 8.45 and you know where I am headed. To the gym. Um, I didn't even look at my workout today. I didn't even check it because I didn't feel like, I don't know. I was like, I don't want this morning to start off on no bush. <laughs> and I know that workout about to start off on some bull. It's leg day. I'm pumped up, but I'm not pumped up. Like leg day is always a very, very rough workout. Hence our pre-workout, but it is what it is, right? Want to get that body right? Gotta do what we gotta do. How to turn these wipers off? I forgot. There they go. So I'm gonna be posting. I'm gonna be recording in there, and I'll post my full workout on the fitness channel. So make sure you go check out that channel. All my little workouts over there. So make sure you go check out that um, YouTube channel. It's linked down below. But good morning. For those of you who are new, my name is Cece and we talk about our corporate careers, productivity, and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you stick around and subscribe. Also click that post notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video and you never miss an upload. YouTube is in something new with the like the home page and so everyone you're subscribed to just because you're subscribed to them you're not getting all of them on your feed so I know a lot of you guys are telling me you don't see my videos and it's evident in the in the video numbers so um, just make sure you're clicking that, po that post notification bell today's actually a pretty heavy work day just a lot of meetings and some work that I need to finish up on I had a really really complex and unfortunate honestly investigation this week and so I need to finish up my notes on that so I can get um, so I can get that case closed out for those of you who don't know um, I am oh our new Panera Bread opens today I forgot but I'm on a no fast food kick this week never mind um, <laughs> but for those of you who don't know I work in employee relations I'm an employee relations business partner for DoorDash corporate I work remote fully remote and yeah that's what I do I actually we have an off-site next month um, actually in just a few weeks we have an off-site and I need to um, purchase a few things for travel you guys I'm gonna try to do something that is so totally out of character on this trip I am going to try to only take a carry-on that's not me right I'm gonna take a carry-on and a book bag I'm not gonna have a big suitcase and the company's paying for it so I could like it's not like I can't but um, we're only gonna be there for like three days and I just I feel like I can do it I really do like I can do hard things okay y'all know I'm a notorious overpacker so I'm already getting my stuff together I just ordered some packing cubes off Amazon um, today they're compression packing cubes and I'm gonna do it a carry-on three days in Phoenix Arizona I'm gonna do a carry-on that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so <laughs> I'll definitely show you guys when I'm ready to pack and how we're gonna pack and you know I'll definitely show you guys it being done because it's gonna get done all right because that is that's the goal I'm going to pack in only a carry-on <laughs> so this is gonna be a oh shit all right apparently my time was too jerky anyway I'm gonna finish up this pre-workout real quick and then we're gonna head into the gym I also have some things to take back to Amazon can I say that 
Taking back stuff from Amazon at the UPS store, not needing a box, not needing packaging, is the best like thought ever. It's the best thing ever, and it is the easiest way to make returns. I used to never return stuff because I didn't want the hassle, but actually just being able to walk it into the store with my barcode, they scan it, I leave, you can go to Kohl's, the UPS store, Whole Foods, like Amazon is just the GOAT, man. Like, I don't know, Amazon is just the GOAT. You guys should have also recently seen I did an Amazon favorites video for all of my favorite products that I bought so far in 20. I was gonna say 2016 for some reason. In 2023, all of my favorite products. So I did do an Amazon favorites. Um, for, well, stuff that again, stuff that I purchased this year so far, and I actually just made a. And I have a few other things to buy over the next couple of weeks, and I made a big purchase. So you guys will also be seeing an Amazon haul video come up. So you guys have to let me know if you love those, but they just have everything you had no idea you needed i mean it's ridiculous and they make things so easy and so convenient it's no wonder we're all spending our life savings on amazon anyway i'm gonna finish this and then i'll talk to you guys when i get out the gym so our first exercise <laughs> I'm actually kind of new to doing these, so I'm just learning what I like. I think this might be it. There we go. Oh. I haven't done this machine in a while either. What's up, y'all? We're back home, and I want to show y'all something. So it's about two o'clock, y'all. I've been home from the gym for hours now I got home at like 10 45 and I've just been um just been working I've been on meetings I've had several meetings got another one in 20 minutes and I'm about to warm up my lunch I'm gonna have some bison for lunch it's 53 grams of protein oh I need to put the broccoli in the air fryer this bison is 53 grams of protein which i've been buying it a lot lately from our local grocery store and i've been loving it let me talk this light this light is so ugly and unflattering i hate those yellow lights they get on my nerves i need to put some broccoli in the air fryer first though. So you guys, I am on a weight cutting journey. I've gained a few pounds back after vacation. I've really been so reckless since we've come back from Jamaica. And that was a month ago, y'all. So I've just been super reckless and stupid with my eating habits. And I'm really disappointed in myself, I'm not gonna lie. I did a whole video on my fitness channel, so check it out if you guys wanna see what I'm doing to cut weight, but it's time for me to cut some weight. So I have about a cup of broccoli that I'm gonna put in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna add the bison to it in like three minutes. So we're just gonna put it on for 10 minutes. So that's gonna cook in the air fryer. I have a, like I said, a piece, oh no, 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 why are you dripping? A piece of bison steak and it's 53 grams of protein so it's great on protein um, and that's what we're gonna have for lunch I cooked it last night so I just need to throw it in the air fryer to warm it up okay the reason for the excitement is because you guys would have already seen this but the Sephora sale is going on right now and y'all should have already seen my haul but i just got in my first order and i'm excited i got in a few other things too so i'll give y'all a little a little sneak it's not really a sneak because like i said you guys have already seen the haul you should have if you haven't i'll link it but i want to peek inside the box 
I'm sorry, not the box. The box is. Okay. All right, we're just gonna do a little, little peeky peek. So, um, first of all, there's this guy on Instagram. This bag definitely smells like a little weed, I'm just saying. But his Instagram is Style Channel, and he's a small business. He's a makeup artist. This is his packaging. And um, <laughs> he sells uh, setting sprays. He has face powders and eyebrow products. He has, I think he has um, eyeshadows too. He has a concealer palette. Okay, so he has all types of products. Um, so I wanted to purchase from him. I love his Instagram. And I just wanted to purchase from him. Um, Style Channel is his name. And so I picked up, his makeup is supposed to be waterproof. I really wanted to try the setting spray, but it's been out of stock. But this is what, this is so cute. I've never seen anyone have their face on their packaging. That is so cute. So I got the loose powder. This one I believe is in cashew. It doesn't say on here, but I think I got it in cashew. Oh, that's nice. It comes with a powder puff. This is really, really nice packaging. Like it has his Instagram handle and all of that. I love it. So we're going to have to try that out. But that's an under eye setting powder. And then I got this brow pencil in dark brown. It's called the Fleek My Brow Pencil. And this is what the packaging looks like. So it has the brow brush and then the pencil on one side. Okay, okay. Definitely some like hair-like strokes there. I love me a skinny brow pencil, as y'all know. So we're gonna have to check those out. You guys should follow him on Instagram. All right, so for the Sephora stuff, I'm not gonna swatch anything because I wanna save that for the fall, but I do just wanna just want to check see what we got here oh this is the one this one only has one thing in it and it's a mini of the one size setting spray what else look how full this box is y'all know i didn't went crazy look how full this box is i spent a grip on the sephora sale it was a lot i definitely spent like $400 and it might have been a little more but I was just so excited there's been some good stuff coming out lately so uh oh there is the other stuff in there like I said I'm not gonna like open anything I just wanted to see everything I'm so excited to film this haul I'm probably gonna try to get down here and film the first part of my haul tonight um so that I can get that up on Sunday. And then, since my nails are looking <laughs> like this, I'm about to take these nails off. Um, I just been, I've been biting them off. I actually broke like the tip of one and it started to look stupid of this one. So I just started biting them all off because I have some new nails coming that I want to try anyway. And I actually want to do some chrome. So I picked up a chrome like powder from Amazon so I can do some white chrome nails. I think those will be really cute, especially for the spring. So I'm really excited about that. So those are the things that came in today, y'all. I get so excited when I get packages. It's like Christmas, it's my favorite thing. The only thing I love more than actually opening the packages and using what's inside is getting them and forgetting what I got, forgetting what I bought and like, oh my God, I did buy this. It's so exciting. I'm about to burn the daggone broccoli talking to y'all. Okay, let me put this, I'll put this bison in the air fryer. I need to get this broccoli out. Almost burnt me. So let's get to my little topic for today, y'all. So a lot of people ask how I keep a good work-life balance. Let me tell you something. It is truly 
I feel like people think every day is going to be 50 50 or not even 50 50 whatever you want to call it 30 70 like I work 30 percent of the day and I do my personal life stuff the other 70 percent some days are longer than others every day is not going to be that perfect balance some days there's going to be longer work days some days they're going to be much shorter work days some days i'm just not going to work at all and i'm going to take off okay and that's just how it goes it really depends on your goals and the trajectory of your career how much you want to work and really how much you want to put into it because I feel like I could coast at my job and be like, you know what, I don't care about getting a promotion or really anything like that. And I could just coast at my job and be good with that and still do a decent job, right? And many of us could do that. Most jobs don't take 40 hours a week. Now, I'm not talking about a retail job or something that you have to physically be there, but we're talking about most office jobs. They do not take 40 hours a week to do. So I could probably knock out a lot of my work within a shorter amount of time and just not do anything else, right? But those aren't my ambitions and my career goals. So you really have to to gauge where you see yourself and what you want to do with your career. I also just subscribe to the notion that I'm not going to let them people stress me out. Okay. They do not pay me enough to stress and I don't care how much you get paid. They do not pay you enough to stress either. So anything that doesn't get done, it just doesn't get done. It's going to still be there tomorrow. I prioritize, you know, I'm a list maker and I'm a planner and I prioritize work the same way I prioritize my life. That's how I know what I need to get done in what order, but I'm not going to let them people stress me out and you shouldn't either. The work will be there, right? And if I lose this job, I'll find another one. Okay. That's just always been my mindset. The jobs are out there. I keep myself ready in case I need to make a move or in case I want to make a move. So I never feel the need to overwork myself. And I will never feel the need to overwork myself because work is such a small portion of my life. I have so much more going on in my personal life that I refuse to let work take over. Now, again, that doesn't mean that, you know, certain jobs have certain busy seasons. Like if you're an accountant, you're going to be working like crazy during that tax season, but maybe the rest of the year is a little more chill and that's fine too. Don't let other people define what your work-life balance should be and what your boundaries and standards are. You set them for yourself and your life. Okay. Thanks for coming to my Ted talk. Anyway, hello. I'm feeling so good. It's actually Saturday, April 22nd. It's Earth Day and I am headed to speak on a panel. I usually don't vlog for this channel on Saturdays, but I'm headed to speak on a panel and I just thought it was it was something cool to vlog. I actually did a full get ready with me hair, makeup, outfit, everything. So you guys, that video should be coming soon if it's not up already. So make sure you check that out. But I did a full get ready with me this morning and now I figured we can vlog. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog when we get into the event, but basically it is an entrepreneurship empowerment, a business empowerment event um, for entrepreneurs. No, I am not an entrepreneur. However, um, I'm going to be speaking on the panel and talking about effective hiring practices and things like that. So I am on the panel with five other six figure badass entrepreneurs, which is so amazing. And I am like freaking out. Okay. So this is not something that I would typically do. Usually when someone asks me to do something like this, I'll shy away and I'll say, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. It's just not something that I typically do, but this year I want to get out of my comfort zone I want to get more uncomfortable you guys know I was I did an Instagram live speaking about um, just career tips resume tips interview tips all that stuff and now I'm speaking on a panel which is I don't know it's just so weird for me because again it's just not something that I would typically do so I'm freaking out and I feel like I'm on the panel with all of these amazing people and I just I don't know in my mind, I keep wanting to say I don't think I'm qualified to speak on this panel, but I'm trying to talk myself out of saying that because that's untrue, right? I feel like I am my my biggest enemy and my biggest critic. I deserve to be here. I deserve to be able to take up space. I have worked hard to get to where I am and somebody wants to hear what I have to say, right? So. 
I'm trying to think of it like that, but imposter syndrome is kicking in and kicking my ass and I don't speak a lot at anything just because of this because I feel like I'm like, I'm just a regular girl. I haven't done anything. What do people want to hear me say? But every time I say that, I get a ton of people, including you guys, saying no, you have a story and people do want to hear what you have to say and you have something impactful to add. So. I'm hoping that's the case today. That is, that is the case today. And we're gonna take up space and I'm gonna go be a badass and <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also just so nervous. Like I don't wanna be sitting there with nothing to say because again, this is um, a seminar mostly for aspiring entrepreneurs. They're gonna learn how to gain funding and um, do all the amazing things that you entrepreneurs are so amazing at that just really isn't my wheelhouse however I do have something valuable to add there so that's that <laughs> so anyway that's where I'm headed and I'm gonna zone out I'm gonna listen to my book and I will talk to you guys when we get there again I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna be able to do when we get there so it's about 30 minutes away I have about 20 more minutes um, of driving to do before I get there. I'm supposed to be there by 1.30. It's 12.57, so I should be there right before 1.30. Um, and the panel starts at 2. Right now they're doing networking, and I wanted to get there a little bit before, like during the networking session so I can just speak to the other panelists and, and you know see who's going to be there and hopefully get some of my nerves out. So <sighs> that's what we're going to do. Wish me luck, and I'll speak to you when we get there. All right, y'all, so I'm here a little early, and um, I'm just sitting. I was just planning some videos. So I'm just sitting here a little early. I'll show you guys the different vendors and um, things that are here, but it's really cute in here. So we'll go around, I'll show you the different vendors and, um, and everything. I'm hoping I could get a little clip of myself on the panel and the rest of the panelists, but um, looks like it's going to be a good event. yesterday with our um, job fair we brought out 27 employers so y'all give it up one time for the one time for them a lot of people came out um, got jobs we still have uh, connections and listings for anybody who uh, still may be looking that wasn't able to come out um, I want to let you all know that the what's up y'all so um, all right so I got out of the event a couple of hours ago it went over um longer than than it was supposed to but we were having such good conversation hopefully he sends me the clips he said he was gonna send he recorded the entire um the entire thing and he's sending the clips to his editor tonight he said so i'm hoping that i can get some of those clips by the time this vlog comes out which will probably be in a couple of weeks i'm hoping i can get some of those clips so i can add it to this vlog but um oh my god y'all i was scared for nothing so i didn't think i was gonna have anything to say y'all 
I added so much to that conversation. I had so much to say and it was so much fun just talking to a group of like-minded individuals. And when I say like-minded, like I said, I'm not a full-time entrepreneur, you guys know that, but just like-minded, hungry individuals wanting to be successful. There are so many times where I feel like sometimes I don't have I don't know I, it's it's really hard to explain but like people who want to talk about like content creation and stuff like that so we were talking about content creation and marketing and all of that and just giving tips back and forth there were about there were a good amount of people there um, <clears throat> and there were about 30 people there and it was I just thought it was a great success so I'm very I'm very happy for um, my friend and how the event turned out and I mean it was pretty cool I thought it was a great time and I enjoyed doing it I made some new connections and networking and I'm gonna meet one of the girls for lunch and we talked about doing some content together and so I'm just I'm it like it's it, you get so excited when you again hang around like-minded people you just get so excited and invigorated to do that so it was just such a good time and I'm so happy I didn't worry about my fear and I just went ahead and did it I'm so happy I did that so anyway um, I actually just dropped the kids off at my mom's house she took all the kids tonight and she's gonna do the girls hair thank God and um, so Mark and I we have a free night only one that's home is is the 15 year old and he good by himself so mark and i are gonna go hang out his best friend they've been best friends since they were five his best friend's turning 40 today 40 and i'm like you know you next baby you know you next um so we're gonna go hang out with him and his girlfriend for the night and just just chill out so we get us an unexpected adult night and i think it's gonna be a really good saturday night i'm excited makeup's already done i ain't gotta change no clothes i ain't gotta do nothing and I'm ready to chill out for the night so it's been a super fun positive day and I'm just so proud of myself and I just feel so I just feel so happy because I'm super proud that I did something that scared me because we don't always do that because we let fear paralyze us and I'm just so happy I I did that and it's crazy because there was another girl on the panel and she kind of talked about how she hates public speaking and just communication in general and that's one of her skills that she needs to work on getting better at and we were all like and she was like I just feel like I don't have anything to add I'm this little girl from the hood like nobody ever thought I would be here I didn't think I would be here and we were all and these were all black successful business owners and we were all looking at each other like look at this y'all like like we we are somebody's definition of success and we need to own that like we I feel like we always dim our light oh I'm just some little girl from here who you know didn't have this role model and didn't have my dad around or my mom around or some little black boy from here like we always disqualify ourselves before before we even the doors even open the opportunities even come we've already disqualified ourselves in our mind because we don't feel like again like i told you guys earlier like we deserve to be there like we deserve to be there and take up space and and like have an impact and have something to say and i hate when i do that to myself and i hate when i see other people do it to themselves it seems like i can spot other people doing it before i can spot myself doing it but it just makes me so mad because i'm like we all deserve to be here this was a panel of very successful black women and men and um i just it was such a great event so i'm so happy i was able to be a part of it and yeah, that's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm about to zone out on my book and then I'll see what we get into for the rest of the night. What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's the next day, Sunday afternoon. It's like three o'clock. We are at Morgan's soccer game. I'm breathing like this because I just ran back to the car. <laughs> but um, I had to come back and find a hat. All I could find was MJ's hat. It's cold as hell out here. I ain't got no coat on. I just got a jacket. We just came from the gym. Um, yeah, we had a kid free night last night, like I was telling y'all. So we got up, went to the gym this morning. 
And then Morgan had a soccer game. So we had to go pick the kids up, get all them dressed, and we came to the soccer game. It's like 40 degrees out here, y'all. If it's even 40 degrees, it's freezing. I didn't have a hat, so I'm like, it gotta be a hat on like the floor of this car. Lo and behold, Jesus was looking out because <laughs> MJ's hat was on the floor. It don't fit me, but you know what? It's covering my ears a little bit. So <laughs> we're gonna make it work. I gotta get back out there. Score is 2-2 at the half. And um, they playing a pretty good team, so they doing well. But it is cold out here, y'all. <laughs> oh my God, it feels like freaking winter still. What? What is you doing? Did you go down? Well, hurry up, cause we going back. It's time to go back. Here go the other one. Okay. Let's go, kiddo. No, no, no. Turn around, turn around. Don't let it get behind you. That's right. Let's go. Good pass, good pass. She's running out of all the cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making. First, she's just gotta stop all the faking, and she. She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better 